at least 50 years old in the Hayward area. That shows excellence in the preservation of a historic structure that has always been a business or commercial property, maintaining as much of the original character of the structure as possible, applying to either original or new businesses, or a business with longevity in the community. To give tonight's award, I would like to introduce Haas Board President and former History Award winner, Brian Morrison. Thank you. Well, Pete's Hardware is the winner of this recipient and uh, this award. And uh, anybody who's done anything in Hayward or Castro Valley area knows where Pete's Hardware is. I was lucky enough to end up buying, they were going to tear down the feed store, and I ended up buying the feed store and restoring it for my business. And who were the two first people that called me or congratulated me? Uh, Linda's father, Ernie Zomeski, quite a historian himself, brought that exact picture over to me and gave it to me to hang into my store. And I think he told me he was nine years old in that picture. And, and that was the front of their old store. He told me his father um, painted cars and trucks in the back of the store, and uh, he, they sold hardware out of the front of it. In fact, the first fire truck of our area. He started the fire brigade. They painted that truck in the back of their store. And if there's another famous picture that you see around, which is in my office also, which shows the men who were that first fire brigade. And a lot of them were are names of streets that are all around Hayward and Castro Valley. And even the starter of our school district, Morris, was in there. And the father of uh, Bobby and Al Unzer was actually on that fire brigade. So, a lot of history, uh, Ernie knew it all, Pete's Hardware, that's the original store, which I think is about where the parking lot is now. Then they built where the house was, they built a new store, tore that one down for the parking lot. I think, I'm not positive, but you'll tell us the true story. <laughs> and uh, Lucille Lord came over, brought me a picture also of my building. So, um, a very great community to buy a building in because you had people that had so much roots in that area and were so proud of that area um, and proud that, you know, someone wanted to preserve something else. I always admire Pete's Hardware. Of course, they see me. I see all your faces every day <laughs> because I come over every day. I even have a black shirt. Some people ask me where, where the plumbing section is. But, yes, and Ernie um, and his wife used to insist when I was in their neighborhood that I'd stop by for a beer and watch a John Wayne film with them. <laughs> that was their favorite, that was your mom's favorite thing. I used to come over and watch John Wayne and have a beer when I was in the neighborhood. Anyways, Ernie knew all of Castro Valley history. I always enjoyed that. And as he got older towards retirement, he would bring me boxes of history. And I have them all, all in my, I have a little area in my place where I have history. And pizza's been around for a long time, and I enjoy knowing Ernie, his father, and here we are, the winners of this award is Pete's Harbor. And the new owners, I would like to say, Jeff and Linda Rourke. And Jeff uh, is also an alumni from my school, so I've known them all for a while. Congratulations. Too long. Too long. <laughs> Step over here so I can get a picture. Put you in the chair. I always put the pretty ones in. No. <laughs> yeah. everybody thinking so well of us to give us this award. Um, the picture you see there is the original building, and if you notice in front, the boulevard is at that time a dirt road. <laughs> and so what happened was when they decided to pave it, the store was kind of in the way of the road. So my grandfather cut back um, like at least six feet 
of the storefront put in a different facade for the front, but the store was in the same location. And then what happened is that the store that we have in place now was on the original parking lot. So, or actually in, in the area where my grandparents' house was. So that's the history. We only <laughs> went back and forth. So thank you all very much. Have you ever noticed that the demise of the good old days always starts with, and then they paved the dirt road? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>